Hey everybody, uh, good morning and welcome to Pensick. Not yet, but realistically, this is the first time I realize in 30 years of doing this that I've actually gotten a hotel for Pensick. It's only for land grab, it's weird, but it means I get breakfast. Anyway, see you before. These are just land agents waiting to get in for troll. Do you have your uh, picture of your plate number? Do you need a picture of it? Or well, no, just just, just as long as you have your plate okay. number. G1620, yeah. and I uh, cool. Um, please have your They've given us shade. Check this out. I am very early because my ride has handicap tags. How convenient is that? But this is about to be a madhouse. So, welcome to Troll. You are now at Troll. I'm turning it off so I can get my ID. Hey everybody, just got done trolling in. Check out this medallion. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of... So apparently it's a beer opener. Yes. <laughs> Which it is a bottle I opener. would not have known that's what it was. And our sad excuse for a book. But I have trolled in... This is Penzik 50, yeah. so I guess it's you know worth go. the safety thing. Now you know I'm throwing this up on. A second. Like you know it. we're going to be using this as a souvenir. Yep, wrong one. Hey everybody, I'm taking a moment out of the land grab area. Uh, behind me is the Great Barn. There's a big steel building, not really a barn. Um, but you can see that's where the land agents hang out. Autos Cove is already taking their measurements. Uh, that camp's going to be Autos Cove when it actually happens. And uh, you guys wanted to see what Pensick looks like before it's Pensick? This is Pensick before it's Pensick. So I'm going to go put my name on the map and then I'm going to walk down the hill and you get to come with me. Okay. I'm going to take you down the hill. Um, now you get to hear me huff and puff while walking. Behind me is the Serengeti. In front of me is a big truck coming. Probably gonna get kind of loud. Oh, pet rentals. Another pet rental truck. Chandler's Road. I've walked these streets so many times, and you know what? Right now, as far as the street is concerned, it's those painted lines on the road. 
there's really not much is going on yet. A lot of people don't get to see Penzik like this. As right now, there are less than 500 people on site because there's 550 groups or thereabouts. And they're still trolling in, so they're not even here yet. My first Penzik, Penzik 22, I was camped about there. They uh, have leveled it off a little bit since then. And the apple tree I was camped under has been gone for 20 some odd years. So it doesn't look like where I camped when I camped there. Moral of the story, don't camp under an apple tree unless you want your tent smelling like rotten cider. Coming to Horde Hill. And coming to Brewers Road. Brewers is one of the few paved roads. This was very much not paved when I started. But it's paved now. Funny thing is, when you get down under the trees over here, that used to be so rain rutted and bad when I started. You will probably notice that I'll slow down while walking down that road because it was so bad, it's like left muscle memory in me to don't walk down this hill really fast. This time next week. This entire hill on both sides will be covered in yurts or gurs, depending on who you ask. A Mongolian round tent. Sort of like a teepee on stilts, really. Kind of. I don't have a whole lot to say other than I'm walking down a hill. But you get to see Penzik like most people don't get to see. My second Penzik, I was camped about where that trailer is, give or take. That road's been changed a couple of times. It's actually moved up the hill quite a bit from when I camped here. But, uh, yeah, that was back for Pensac 23 and everything, everything, everything. Down this way, all of that was needy boot sucking mud. So, yeah. And now, that's as far up the hill as I've camped. We will not get as deep into the bog as the deepest I've camped, because my camp is just at the bottom here. Now this section coming up, as you notice I start walking slower, is pretty steep. And in the early days this was not paved and this is a rain runoff otherwise. And uh, the rain would run off and uh, cause all kinds of ruts and uh, more ceramic drums and mugs have broken on this hill over the days. Pretty bad. Yeah, there are people who camp down there. Yeah. Oh, we have interesting situations here. People have had their trailers dropped. 
and somebody's dropped their trailer in my camp. We will have words. No big deal. I know who it is. And it's not their fault. Oh look. If you need to buy a camel, go to Camel Lot. Best used camels. Yeah. So I'm now on Great Eastern Highway. And I'm gonna hang a right turn on Willow Point Road, heading home. And I am home. Apparently we have adopted a gypsy wagon. Not mine. Nah. We'll live. Basically a lot of these trailers get stored here over the winter and the Hooper staff will come down with the wagon or tractor or something and pull them and put them in their block, block lots. A lot of them don't know exactly where they're gonna go, so they go, eh, it's close. And that is Cooper's Lake. So I'm not going to film myself huffing and puffing back up the hill because I'm pretty sure you don't need to see me having some sort of heart attack or stroke or something. Uh, the deck over there is where Casa Barbici sets up um, and they built that so they could put the Casa in but you know it is what it is anyway I'm gonna walk back up the hill see if anyone else is here yet we'll add to this later get here See it war. Yep, while we do this, we have some unwanted neighbors. Yeah. They are not welcome. That is right across the line from my camp. It needs to go. They're gonna come and take care of that. Hey everybody. We are now in the part of land grab. I kind of joke about being called straight men in skirts carrying tape measures as people are out there measuring. My camp is already measured out. Mine is usually pretty simple. Um, somewhere where that Bardo van thing is, is going to be my camp. That's not in my camp. They just put it there for now. Showed it in the other video. Um, it's really hot. We're doing surveying. You didn't think medieval reenactment would involve land surveying, did you? Welcome to Pensick. When you guys get here, this will be just a tent city and you're just going to plop your butt. But we go through this every year, so hopefully things go well. We'll see you in a bit. Yep. One of the merchant areas. Not open yet, obviously. And this is the old barn, which is now the pen market, uh, where you can buy all sorts of goodies, which is what I'm about to do. Get myself some Gatorade. Catch you guys in a bit.
Yep, that's the excitement. <laughs>